prohibited and made difficult any type of true independent third party investigation. Mm -hmm. We're very aware that certainly it would be nice for Coke and its infinite resources to give of itself for an investigation, but we know that any financial or otherwise connection mm -hmm. of the company to an investigation would taint it. Right. And we were fully prepared to look at other partners that could help mm -hmm. with a true independent third party investigation. Has there ever been an independent third party investigation? There have been several. Okay. One notable one that may be relevant to the New York community is one done by the councilman of New York City. Mm -hmm. I believe it was the 32nd district named Hara Monserrate who went down in 2004 with several parties to really take assessment, to take stock of what's happening in Colombia. Mm -hmm. Met with key partners in several communities and nationally, including members of business and labor. Mm -hmm. And in a very damning report, which we made available, showed with great clarity mm -hmm. that what we were alleging was in fact proven on many levels, and in fact had uncovered witnesses that had been too scared to speak mm -hmm. on previous investigations. Right. And there's, there's periodicals, magazines, and in fact many academic writings mm -hmm. that introduce anecdotal and empirical evidence about what's taking place and show that this is a precedent that's been set. Right. And Coca-Cola is certainly the one that's taking the most advantage of mm -hmm. these realities. So the claim that a lot of administrators are making that there's no evidence to prove that Coca-Cola is complicit in the murders of union workers in Colombia, what would you say to that claim of administrators? We would say that it's unfortunate that administrators haven't been reading the proper documents and having the full disclosure of information because there is not only suitable but adequate and very extensive documentation, whether it be independent third party investigations that mm -hmm. don't have co-connections, whether it be academic writings, first-hand testimonies, depositions, the text to the court proceedings in the South Florida District of a 2001 mm -hmm. lawsuit, which continues now and is on reappeal as of next month, March 2008, that what tends to be more the issue is that there's not a lack of evidence or of proof to be seen by administrators, but in fact a lack in heeding that information. Okay. They, there's a sad reality that takes place in many universities, and particularly common administrators, that mm -hmm. know that a key portion of their work is fundraising, right. is sustaining the economic stability of mm -hmm. a university, of a department, and that those economic interests trump then the human interests mm -hmm. of these cases. Right. So you think that the response of administrators claim that there's not enough evidence that that may actual, in actuality be because economically it's not of interest to the university to remove its contract with Coca-Cola or to not resign the current contract. Most certainly. In this case, there's, there's a saying in Colombia where we say that there's no greater blind person than he or she that does not want to see. Mm -hmm. So we could give you all the information that you may need. Right. We could send you to Colombia yourself. Right and weigh the options at hand. Mm -hmm. And administrators, I would like to think that not as common, but it, we've seen time and time again, they would rather err on the side of trusting Coke, of mm -hmm. trusting, in this case, the guilty party, than taking the right stand and supporting the case of justice, and that in this case has provided quite a bit of, not only factual evidence, mm -hmm. but a huge wave of support, not just within the U.S. and Canada, mm -hmm. but a huge way of support globally that speaks for itself. Can you speak to any administrators in the United States who have who have removed Coca-Cola from their campus, who have who have agreed with the students that Coca-Cola is indeed taking part in these murders of murders of union workers? And if you can speak to them, do you do you have any idea why these administrators have have found that there is factual evidence in the investigations that have taken place? There's an interesting scenario where, in fact, we do know of several administrators that, based on their own good conscience and the fact that they have been able to put the human interest above the economic interest, mm -hmm. they nonetheless would not say so publicly right. because of two main reasons. One, it would certainly make him or her a pariah in the community to say that, in fact, his or her decisions are made on a political basis. Right. 
which in the end isn't political, but it's clearly something of a, of a higher a moral mm -hmm. integrity, right? And second, that 